welcome to NEMC Channel 6 Focus Program. I'm Joe Adair. I'll be your host for this segment. Joining me today is Ken Goike, well-known individual in our community, a man of many hats, business owner, state representative for our local district, which is 33? Yes, district number 33, all of Macomb Township, Ray Township, Armada, Richmond, and Lenox Townships, and the city of Richmond and the villages of Armada, New Haven, and half of Memphis. So you got a little piece of them. Yep, just on the county line. So the lucky ones are on your side. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and he is also a representative of the Armada Agricultural Society, which puts on the Armada Fair. And this year it is the 143rd yes, annual it, fair. It sure is. I'm sure glad I wasn't around for the first one, but uh, yeah. I'm very proud to keep this heritage going on, on, the, on the fair. It's a great, great atmosphere for a homecoming for our community. Well, 143 years certainly says something to that. So let's think back a little bit. 143 years ago, what was the what was the idea or the concept behind? Let's have a fair. What is a fair? Well, you got to remember, 143 years ago, they were still reeling in from the Civil War. So there was a lot of you know angst and a lot of new communities and a lot of young thinking, and there was promotions. You know, and and back at that time, you know, you wanted to take care of the city, so agriculture was a huge aspect and the railroads have been coming through. So it was transportation. And that's what built our great nation, is the fact of transportation, be able to get goods from point A to point B. So therefore, you know, we had the railroad, all, everybody's coming home from the war and they're feeling good about, and they, so it was a promotion. And what drives, you know, things to be better is competition. So people had to be bragging. When they would go to the saloon, they would brag on how good their Persian horse was, and. The other guy would brag about how good his Belgian draft horse was. And so let's show them off. Let's show them off. And then it was also about the baked goods. And then I have corn that's four and a half foot tall, and yours is only four foot tall. And Aunt Millie's jelly preserves. Absolutely. Show them so off. That's, and, and that's what was the, the foreground of it. And uh, so in, it just uh, it goes back that far. And it actually into state law is when the agricultural societies was put into effect. So... It was coming through, you know, and then within, with the, I think it goes to 1863 is when the state actually passed the, you know, the tax exemptions for the 501c5s, which are the agricultural societies, to start having their, uh, you know, their, their fairs and that would uh, to promote agriculture and to, to brag about that nice bull, you know. So ours has always it. been an agricultural fair. Absolutely. Yep. So that, and that includes the livestock and um, the animals and things. So that makes it differ a lot from traveling circuses when they used to have those way back. Yes, but and then it was a combination then. It, did, it took a few years before the, the event of having those types of events. Um, you know, at first it was just showing off, you know, the agricultural stuff that you had, you know, to brag about that hog or the lamb, whatever. But then um, as time was going, because of, you know, with history of the circuses going around, it kind of blended in together with it you know, with having the entertainment and all the... So hackers. that's kind of how the carnival portion Correct. of it came in. That's the, and that's the history of that. So there's uh, 83 counties in the state of Michigan, and uh, there's just about every county has one. Some counties have two, some don't, don't even have a fair. Uh, like, say, Crawford County. You know, it's, the population is not very large in it because it's mostly all stained owned in that county, so therefore they don't have one. But then we just go up the road to Sandusky, and they have two agricultural fairs. So, but uh, so there's, I believe right now there's 85 county fairs and um, within the last few years there's only been a couple started and a couple have closed. The first one, major one, was the Michigan State Fair. So that was very, yeah, that was very, a loss. very yeah. disappointing because it was the oldest state fair in the, in the nation and we lost that and it's never probably to be back again under current administration. You know, last one basically folded the doors. Um, and a lot of imitators want to say that they're the state fair, but they're really not the state fair. And we're one of the largest agricultural fairs. Um, believe it or not, we're probably um, either at the lower end of the larger ones or the, the highest of the middle. Yeah, you know, I thought we get, ranked in with the highest. Yeah, so th it goes by, uh, you know, how, what's your paid admission at the gate. And um, so that's what puts us at that, that ranking there. But, and we're certainly not the oldest. You've got to go down to southern Michigan like Hillsdale and those counties, Calhoun, 
they're actually a lot older than us by about so 20 years. Wow, so they've got more than 143 of them, huh? Yeah, yes. Uh, so well, I that's think good. That says a lot about their community as well, that that's something that people enjoy, and that's why it keeps coming, keeps coming. Yeah, well, we're still, uh, I think we're in the top 10, though. So I, I'd have to scratch my memory a little bit longer than right now. but That's a nice distinction. Okay, we've got, uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm not as versed on what's, what's on the, the venue this year as you are. And I know it's changed a little bit. Um, the lineup and, and the entertainment has changed a little bit. You want to talk about that? Okay. Um, first of all, uh, we're going to open the, you know, the gates there on Monday, the 17th of August. And uh, that night, you know, our, our main entertainment is going to be Joe Nickel as our entertainer. Uh, people are wondering why on Monday. Well, that's when we could contract him. So and we, there was a lot of uh, anxiety about uh, using it at that day, but it was such a good you know, name entertainer. We decided to do that on Monday, and then that, therefore we flopped to Friday to having a, a points rodeo. So the rodeo is going to be a very, very good rodeo on, on Saturday. But uh, the normal lineup in between is going to stay the same. Tuesday will be... Uh, no, rodeo is on Friday. Well, f that's correct. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Don't it confuse is me. I am the one confused. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it is Friday. It is Friday. Yeah, because we, we swap Monday and Friday around. But Tuesday's Bump and Run. Wednesday's Demolition Derby. Thursday's Figure Eight. Friday will be Horse Pulls in the afternoon. And then the rodeo in the evening. Saturday and Sunday will be our good old tractor and truck pulling, uh, the longest one going uh, on this side of the Mississippi. We're very proud of that. Wow. Yeah, there's always, always been something for everybody in the fair. I mean, if, if you can't find something on this venue that, that reaches out and speaks to you, that, that this is what you enjoy. And the, uh, the buildings, the 4-H uh, yeah, well, buildings and the display buildings. Those are always interesting. Yes, you know, uh, we're one of the best shows in the Army in, in the state for our um, bu buildings one and two. It shows all the crafts mm -hmm. and all of the cooking and the sewing work, you know, that people display and our Homemaker of the Year program. They do such a great job. Um, fortunately, I get to go to a lot of the different fairs and um, I have yet to see uh, another fair that has a, a, a better display than what we have in that. And then we also have, you know, the 4-H doing their youth programs. And uh, we call it barn number 12. It's immediately just south of, you know, the, the grandstands there where they do all of their crafts and, the, you know, needlepoint and displays of all different, si you know, different types. It's just a, a, another added venue for the many things that we, you know, put on at the fair. Okay. Um, we're going to pause right here for a minute, and we'll be right back. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of the things that are going on and some of the things that you can participate in when we return. So stay with us.
Hi, and welcome back to NEMC Channel 6 Focus Program. This is our second segment of our conversations with Ken Goike from the Armada Fair. Um, like I said earlier, I'm kind of cheating. I'm looking at the pamphlet because I don't know everything by heart. And you can get your pamphlet at any of the local businesses here in Armada. So be sure and pick one up because there's going to be something in there that's going to entertain everybody in your family. So at the first segment when we quit, we were talking about the uh, judging in the, the entries that are in the fair, in the, in the barns. Yes, there's so many of them. And that's what makes up, it's, you know, what makes up the fair is a wide variety of interests for everyone. You know, not only motor sports activities, which is part of our, you know, heritage with the, in our mission statement, but it's uh, the growing and the handiwork and the history and things that are fun to do, you know. And the things people take pride in. Absolutely. You know, you look at some of the quilts that are in those barns and, you know, some of the arrangement displays, the flowers that they've grown and they've made into arrangements and stuff. It's, it's awesome. It, it truly is. And, you know, and so it's, it's nice that it's judged and they can get awards on it. Yes. And, you know, and that's one of the things that every year, trying to get new judges so you've got a new perspective because as in any competition, people really gear up and they amp themselves up and then they'll say, well, that judge is a friend of so-and-so's and they're going to win no matter what. So we're cognizant of that all the time. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make it as fair as possible in all the aspects that we do there. Because, mm -hmm. you know, people pour their hearts and souls into it. And some people just do it just to do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, most generally, there's a pride factor, and that's why you see such good things. And it ranges all the way from the little rabbits all the way to the big steers, you know, in, in the open classes as well as in the, the youth classes. So. Right. I'm very proud to say that, you know, we've got a long history with 4-H and we have our livestock sale that's on Friday, uh, or, you know, evening there. Just be, it starts basically after the draft horse bowl and then goes until the main entertainment. But the continuation and of expanding, and now we're also having children from FFA, which is Future Farmers of America. So we're I didn't know those were still around anymore. They were when I was in school, but I hadn't heard anything about you. FHA. You still hear about? I mean, uh, FHA, yeah, Federal Housing Administration. Yeah, no, but, uh, but for Future, future farmers. farmers of America, yep. and you know, it is big across the state. Some of the other, you know, fair is what I was thinking of. Yeah, but that's why we want to be inclusive. You know, yes. even if Boy Scout and Girl Scout clubs want to do something, any youth, you know, that's why we're open to it and to give some type of a, you know, benefit to the youth for, for growing and learning. And that's back, you know, to our mission statement. That's why we're involved with the athletic program. If a lot of you people don't know it, all them youngsters get up first, you know, before six o'clock, come to the fairgrounds every day and police it, picking up all the garbage for us. And then in return, we give a, a nice, you know, contribution to that, you know, their for, for, for their work, plus they get a ticket. So we try to be involved as much as possible, right. even in the refreshment tent, you know, different civic organizations to make some money, you know, to help, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, try to be all-inclusive as a community event and to keep all the strings together, working with, uh, you know, your fire department here in Armada, as well as the police department and then the sheriff's, you know, emergency you know, evacuation programs, right. emergency things. We have a first aid still on there. You know, the water, the sewer. Yeah, there's a lot of planning that goes into this. It doesn't just happen. No, the, you know, the, the parking. Yeah. The people mm -hmm. to work the parking lot will be paid for. Mm -hmm. Working with the community, you know, on everything. And as you know, you know, working at the, the village here, it's, uh, you know, we try to keep an open door of communications. And uh, I'm trying to keep that going myself as, as, as much as possible because I think it gives us less headaches. Oh, Absolutely. So there is a lot going on, and I really do recommend that you pick up a pamphlet because there's a little map in here that, that tells you where, if you're not familiar with the fair or, or been here before, it tells you where you can find different things like the antique tractor displays and the uh, events that they do to the east side. You've got the grove on the south side. I always like the entertainment in the grove. Well, you know what, being that you, know, you, you talk about the grove, there's another great example of a lot of good things going for for the community events. You know, you get the, the candy scrambles, the little children to do the pedal pull. The pedal pull with the tractors. The eating yep. contest, you yep. know. And then we tried on that little stage there in the Grove, you know, you get the little dance troops with the little girls coming mm -hmm. in and doing their dancing and then 
sometimes Battle of the Bands, and there's a lot of good events that go on there. Really good entertainment, and a lot of people don't, you know, take advantage of that. So right, and that's a good way for you to get involved and be part of that fair. You, you, know, you can go home with a with a ribbon and a prize, and you know, I eat more pizza than anybody <laughs> else. <laughs> well, that would be me. <laughs> so, but you know what I kind of been saving up is we're very, very excited for having the Clydesdales, the Budweiser Clydesdales, coming to the fair again this year. That's, uh, it's not very easy to get them. You've got to put your name on a list. And those guys are big celebrities. Yeah, the, the dog is a huge celebrity. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have some cool stuff going on. There's going to actually be a, uh, a, a raffle going on in the adult beverage tent the, the downside is you're going to have to be 21 years of age to do this, but there's going to be a raffle to be able to ride on the, on the wagon. Which, oh, wow. So we're pretty excited about that. I, that's going to be uh, a pretty good deal for somebody, the lucky winners, to be able to ride on that wagon with the, the dog up there by your side. And nice the, photo opportunity for mom and dad. Yeah, and the Teamsters up yep. there with all that, that hitch in front of you. It's a very majestic mm -hmm. you know, viewpoint to, yep. to do. And, of course, Midway. Yeah, the Midway, you know, it's always a, a, a focal point for a, the youth. You know, it's the ambiance of it. Yes, it's the music, the smell. Yes, the smell. All smells. that greasy stuff, you know. <laughs> all the good <laughs> stuff. It's really good for us, isn't <laughs> it? the good stuff. But, uh, yes, this year we're going to have Big Rock Entertainment again. And um, there's a lot of benefits. Uh, they've got very good youth, you know, the, the small, small rides. And... Uh, for the amount of room we have, we, you know, we're trying to get more spectacular rides from them. But uh, you can get this Mega Pass, which is great. It's $60 this year. But if you're somebody that wants to come to the fair every day. Every day. It's worth know, it. 60 bucks, and you can ride unlimited amount. And, you know, and at that same token, if you want to come, if you pre-buy, you can buy tickets. You know, you can get the, the seven tickets for $42, mm -hmm. which is a discounted price. And that way it'll get you in there. Um, and if you're uh, a little bit down on your luck or something, we still want you to come there. We have what's called the last blast on Sunday. Right. After 5 o'clock. Free admission. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get the, the discounted price on, on the rides. So it's a, we, we try to be cognitive of, of everybody. Monday, mm -hmm. senior day, you know. And we try to, you know, with the veterans, we do everything. We're something to... Uh, Another new deal this year, we're actually having a uh, Farm Bureau Day. So people that belong to the Farm Bureau are going to be able to get a, come in at a little discounted Discount. price on one day there. So lots of activities. And if anybody has any ideas, can't guarantee that we're going to approve it because there's 21 board members. <laughs> but uh, That's hard to get that many people to agree on one thing. Yeah. How many people are on the village council? <laughs> yeah. Um, food. All kinds of food. Yes. Ethnic food, hot dogs, yes. cotton candy, elephant ears. So anything you've got a taste for, you can probably find it there. You sure can. And just to be rest assured that, remember, the health department does check these facilities. You know what? And I have to commend Big Rock. Last year, I think that is the cleanest fair I've ever seen in my life. Th these guys are phenomenal. They're out there cleaning up every night. They're making sure everything's washed and clean and ready. So... You don't mind eating out of those kind of food. Yeah. Um, the vendors there. Yeah, I, you know, I totally agree. And that's one of the things that we really try to focus on the whole fairground. Little be known to a lot of people. You know, I have, we have a couple people on the payroll. That's all we're doing is picking up garbage mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's very, very important to keep a good, clean, and right. safe you know, midway. And that's what uh, we work with the village very well, with the, and with the Chief Howard, and uh, about having... A presence with the village. We mm -hmm. pay extra money for that to happen, and that way it stays local. Mm -hmm. And we're very happy about that. You know, it keeps, you know, that you know that sense of safety. You know, there's a loss or missing child. You know, we have a complete lockdown on mm -hmm. the on the fair. Please bear with us. We nobody in, nobody out. If it was your child, you would That's understand. That's exactly what you would want. So yeah, I think everybody would understand that. So, a lot of presence of people that that's there to help. Truly is another yeah. big presence that you have there is the Queen and Court. Yes, we, and that's uh, you know that starts earlier in the year. Um, it's a scholarship for these young ladies, mm -hmm. and um, this year we have uh, three more from the area, and 
we're very proud. They go out and we represent us in all the different parades. They've been to, you know, I think four parades already. The closest one probably being um, Bayorama. Mm -hmm. They were there, and uh, it helps promote the fair, helps promote our community, you know, to let people know that there's a lot of different things going on in Armada. You know, we have the, right. the flea market, and now Blake's with the hard cider and Our the concerts stuff. in the park. The co oh, I love yeah, those. <laughs> the concerts in the park is just wonderful. Yep. Even the bike trail. I yep. mean, it's something that uh, is really reaching out to go to the ice cream store. You know, they come through. I've noticed one thing, those bikers don't spend a lot of money, but uh, <laughs> they, they do come, and it, it just, you know, gives you that nice little hometown mm -hmm. feeling, which is actually what we have in our communities up here. Right, right. Uh, another thing that I kind of want everybody to pay attention to is when you're in the arena area, you're going to see the banners of all the sponsors for the fair. You know, if you get an opportunity to stop in and, and see one of these sponsors, you know, stop at the Malcolm Daily or you're stopping at Marcel's or somewhere, you know, tell them you saw their banner at the Army of Fair. They, you know, they'll appreciate that. So it's you good support. Kidding. You ain't kidding. Good support. And if I could lead off on that mm -hmm. as well, if you want to personally, anybody, you can have a sponsorship. You know, if you want to put a sponsor a banner out there, call the fair office for that. But just as an individual, you can also sponsor trophies. We yes. have a trophy sponsorship package, and then we'll read yeah. off your name as the trophy sponsor in them events. Mm -hmm. And it's a if and then the person gets to see your name on that for you know however long they decide to keep that trophy and I still have my trophies from the demolition derby 1973 and 74 so <laughs> they hang around a long time they last a long <laughs> time they're indestructible okay I can't think of anything more that I wanted to ask you is there anything more you wanted to add um, I just that uh, we have to be you know very cognizant of what's going to happen with our construction development downtown yeah. here Big, um, big project. The fairs try to be very cooperative. Uh, you know, you had reached out to us about parking and uh, letting the contractor put their equipment in our, mm -hmm. you know, facility. So we've been working very get together with that. So what's yeah. the update? Well, we're not, not completely sure that the road will be 100% finished. So if you're coming into town, make sure you pay attention to the construction and the traffic directional signs. That'll tell you what to do. So if if need be, you may have to go straight through North Avenue, Fulton Street, and go to Armada Center Road and come into the fair from that direction. The fair is going to be sure that there's plenty of accommodations at those entries to, for parking and getting you right in, down into the fair. So uh, just pay attention to the, to the directional signs, and that'll, that'll get you through without any problems. And it's not like it's a long ways out of the way. It's almost a direct route. So well, I'd like to in. say it's going to be better for next year. Yes, so yes. The road could, will be great. You couldn't com uh, control the weather, like we can't <laughs> control the weather during the fair. Right. Um, you can just make adaptions to it. That's why we put a lot of drainage in there. <laughs> People that yep. don't see that stuff, you know, this year we've made a, a brand new information booth. So that, That's always uh, helpful. The, you know, you can get the brochures right there. Plus you can buy, you know, if you want a t-shirt or a hat, something about the fair. And uh, we're in the finishing stages of doing our manure pits. Uh, so Good to know. Yeah, they're <laughs> out taller, so that uh, hopefully, if there's any stench, that will help keep it inside there and uh, make it safer and cleaner mm -hmm. and a better, a better you know environment for people to come and enjoy. Oh, our it makes it a event. little yeah, a little more pleasant when the when you're going in and touring the animals and things. So that's. That's a good thing, I suppose. It's not the best thing, but it's, the good, it's well, a good thing. it's all part of the cycle, though. It's but, you know, the, the, the youth, they take so much pride in decorating inside yes. the barns. Yes. And then when you come out there and if, uh, you see that, but, you know, it's like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. if, uh, and we're trying to welcome everybody from the, from the city, from all over the community, you know, to, to see what we have out here, see what everybody's worked for, and to continue this heritage of 143 years at the yeah. Armada Fair. Okay. Well... That's it, 143 years for the Armada Fair. Be sure to come out and see it. You won't be sorry, and it's an all-day, once you're in, and you could stay there all day if you want. If you, can, if you can last that long, there's enough for you to see in one day to stay there the entire day. So be sure and join us on next time on Focus. I'm Joe Adair. Thank you. I'm Ken Goyke, and I appreciate the time. We'll see you at the fair. <laughs>